It's really unlike any other theatre in London. My name's Michael Attenborough and I'm the artistic director of the Almeida Theatre. It really is a, a truly unique space. Because it was never actually conceived of as a theatre, it doesn't feel like any other space you've ever been in. It's not divided by a proscenium arch. It's very much what we call a one-room space. In other words, that the stage comes out into the audience. You feel very, very close to the actors and to the action. Because of the scale of our theatre, and I mean the scale of our stage, it is possible to do King Lear or Hamlet or Julius Caesar, or a musical, or indeed a play with only two people in it. We do that which other people don't do. We take a lot of risks, we're bold with our programming. We do new plays, but we don't just do new plays. We do revivals, but not just revivals. The Almeida Theatre is an extremely liberating and wonderful place to run. We do six shows a year, and then for the 12th month, we run a summer festival. And we try to open up this theatre to influences, and quite literally voices, that you wouldn't normally hear so it could be West African writers and actors resident in the UK. It could be a, a movement company. Um, it could be an experimental company coming over from New York. So over those four weeks, you get a wonderful spread of work that we couldn't sustain over an eight or nine week run as we do for the rest of the year. I think it's important to maintain a profile that feels like there's a, that the door is open that major writers and major directors and indeed sometimes major actors can feel they can pick up a phone or drop me a postcard or an email and say have you ever thought of doing this? I'd love to do that. I've just read this new play. I think it's magnificent. The process of selection uh, comes from those submissions and also a huge amount of reading that I do and my artistic associate does. And then the final selection comes down to my taste. Fortunately, at the moment, we're playing to packed houses and have been for a couple of years. It actually has a huge international profile. People do know uh, of the theatre, they know of the work. It's got a wonderful worldwide reputation. But at the same time, for the people who live in North London, it's very much their local theatre. They can come here, um, they can park, and they can afford the tickets. The, the tickets, are, because we're subsidised, are half the price of the West End. I think we have a responsibility to reflect the world immediately outside our doors. And so I've aspired ever since I came here to attract an audience that is broader than the one that you would conventionally think of as, as watching a play. And there's no question that the profile of our audience has become younger and racially more diverse. And um, this has affected the nature of the theatrical event because a theatrical event is composed of two crowds, the crowd on the stage and the crowd in the audience. 